So this video is on how to change your appearance using the law of attraction. When I went through a very dark period and depressing period a few years ago, I noticed I was like aging really quickly. So I started putting these principles into use and my big thing was I was under so much stress I was losing my hair. So I wanted to stop that so I wouldn't, wasn't going bald and also to prevent the wrinkles from becoming worse and worse and worse. And I just looked, my hair looked bad, the way I was dressing, it was just a whole lot of things. In fact, when I was going through some pictures recently and saw those, of me through that time frame, I should try and find them if I saved them, I threw most away. I told my sons, I said, why didn't you say something to me? Oh my gosh, I looked old, frumpy, and nope, I was not going to do that. So these are the principles I put into use, which I'm gonna go over today, because you can change the way you look using the law of attraction. I'm gonna go over a few different ways. So. I welcome you to my channel. I'm here to make you the happiest person you know. So if you enjoy that, enjoy my videos, consider hitting that subscribe button. My name is Gloria and I'm a certified life coach and have information on that below also. But let's go ahead and get started with this powerful video. So we have to remember our bodies are made of energy. And that energy fluctuates, could go from high to low, depending on our thoughts, our situation, what we put into our body. So if we keep that raised, that's when the power of our mind comes in and we could change what we want. If you think about it, the cells in our body rejuvenate, I think it's about every 12 months. So if you want to make some changes, the cells are going on. But one important concept is you have to believe in this. You have to believe that you can change the way you look. Think about it when you're cut. When you're cut, your body knows how to heal. It's amazing, isn't it? When you have a surgery, your body heals. It rejuvenates. So why can't you do the same thing with your looks? We have cells in our body, physosets they're called. I may have pronounced that wrong. But anyway, they're there to eat up what doesn't belong in our body, if it's viruses, bacteria. But you know what? We can direct them. Our cells are intelligent. When you go to sleep, do you have to tell, heart, keep beating, lungs, keep breathing? No, our cells know what to do. They're intelligent. So sometimes we have to direct them on what to do. And again, you have to believe in this. Now, if you think about it, if you see a couple in love, don't they just look amazing, beautiful? Maybe then if you knew a couple before then, it's because of their vibration, their aura. It, it just changes the way it is. And sometimes it may be you want to change the way you look. And I told give my example, my hair was bad, the clothes I wear. So by doing this work, not only can you change physically, but you can all, you also intuitively know the best haircut to get for you. And it's what you want, not what somebody else wants. You'll know what clothes to wear intuitively. It is a truly amazing. And again, our cells get lazy. They kind of go to sleep. So we just tell them what to do. They're there for us. It is energy. Just like right now I'm taking this on a digital camera. Think of years ago, the cameras that were used. We never thought this would be today, would it? Just like there was a stagecoach, now it's airplanes. So believe in the power of your thoughts to create, to change. So the first I wanna talk about is our bodies are made up about 60% water. Think about that. And I don't know if you're familiar with the work of Dr. Emoto. Dr. Emoto did these amazing, you can look it up, amazing experiments where he talked to these crystals. And some of the crystals, when he said, you're beautiful, I love you, they were gorgeous, um, beautiful works of art. The other ones where you're ugly and that, they just looked like a piece of mud. So the thoughts we have will affect our body. But because we're 70% water, I want you to drink a lot of water. And before you drink the water, bless it. Do your affirmations. Thank the water. 
and you're, when you're ingesting it, think of that high vibration that you are putting in your body. Because everything we put in our body affects it. So consider your body a temple, you've heard it many times, but what you put in it. But think of the water, putting a lot of water in when you're doing this work, and doing your affirmations, and bless that water as it goes in, because it's going to raise your vibration. The second is your thoughts. And there's a book by Prentice Mulford, and he died in 1891. So this has been around a long time, and he calls it the law of nature. And the law of nature, he believes, we are supposed to be healthy and beautiful. But sometimes our thoughts aren't that way. We think that as we get older, we have to age, we have to look older. No, we don't. We could change those thoughts. Cheerful thoughts. When you see some people as they get older, if they're depressed and ill and all they talk about is depressing things and their worries, it shows on their faces, on their bodies, they may be slumped over. But if you have positive thoughts that you are loved, you are beautiful, that is going to show on your face too. If there's things you want to change about your face, you want a better smile, you want sparkly eyes, you want shiny hair, tell yourself that. Do the affirmations, do them in the mirror. Daily, 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 daily. Because any outer change begins with the inner change first. All change begins on the inside with our thoughts. You're projecting it into the universe and the universe will deliver it in time. And so the last step is to visualize it. I want you to visualize it in your mind's eye, but with feeling, lots of feeling. How do you feel? How do you look? Who's there with you? Get in touch with your I am presence and send the picture lots of love. The visualize the end result. It's kind of like time traveling. So you're here now, this is where you want to be. This is where you want to, this is how you want to look and start doing it with feeling. And also release any resistance. If you're doing the work and you don't believe in it, you don't trust in it, or you're thinking, oh, this will never happen, try and release that. Do exercises to release that. And again, give it time. It takes almost a year for ourselves to redo it. So don't give up, give it time, and maybe start with something smaller. Then um, I hear a lot of people want to change the way their eyes look or something. And of course, it's been proven, people have done it. But maybe start with something smaller so you trust the process, you believe in the process, and you don't have resistance to it. So if you enjoy my videos again, consider the subscribe button, and I'm sending you lots of love and light. Until next time.